some advice before you go. These hills are crawling with bandit tribes. They mostly fight each other, but if they find you in their turf, they'll kill you first, then figure out if you're friendly or not. You watch yourself. Good work. I'm starting to think I made a good decision by saving you. You truly are someone we can trust, and I am in your debt. Now go talk with DR about that buggy. Look for him in the garage. Hey, come over here. I've got one word for you to remember. Feltrite. You know what Feltrite is? <laughs> no, probably not. Well, let me tell you. Feltrite was inside that asteroid that darn near wiped out the whole planet. But what it left behind? Now that is interesting. Feltrite, ore from outer space. Powerful stuff. You get your hands in, you keep it. Only trade it for something really good. Hey, you pal. Care to browse my goods? What you're looking for? Hope to see you again soon. Hey, buddy. Dan said you were taking that old buggy off my hands. Truth is, not a bad vehicle, but, see, it needs work and parts. The work, I can do, but the parts, you're gonna need to get. Johan, back at the Outrigger settlement, should be able to... Okay, see you back here when you get the parts.
welcome. So, DR needs some parts for that old buddy. Hmm. Man, he should just junk it. Now, I'd like to give the parts to you, but I'm afraid I have a small problem. Afraid bandits raided my garage not too long ago and ran off with most of my spare parts. You're gonna need to go down to their hideout near the old dam and find what you need. Think you can handle this? Could get it. It won't be easy taking on the bandits on their own turf. Here, take some fat boys for your pistol. That ammo kicks some real butt. And in case you run into any locked doors, take these plans to build a lock grinder. They do exactly as their name says. Good luck. This whole area's been getting more and more dangerous. Saw the fireworks from here. Great job. And here's what I promised you. This white guy.
Hey, did you catch that episode of Bash TV last night? I'm gonna smash your memory in!
Come down! Hey, pal. Care to browse my goods? I might have something you need. See you soon. What do you need, pal? Hope to do business with you again. You ever hear any strange noises coming from under the ground? Those parts should do the trick. Okay, the buggy will be ready soon, but there are a couple things you have to know before you take that thing out for a ride. Remember, the wasteland is a dangerous place. Give me a call if you ever smash your vehicle up and can't drive it. I'll give you a lift back here. And also, if you need any repairs, just drive back to the garage and I'll fix her up. Okay, let me get these parts installed and you'll be all set. Go ahead and grab that radio on the counter there. Ready to go. Take it out for a spin, but remember, call me if you need a tow. Alrighty then, go ahead and drive carefully.
that buggy. It isn't much now, but you put some guns on it and you'll be able to go up against just about anything. Now, you ready for some more work? Some bandits have taken control of the checkpoint at the canyon entrance, trying to cut us off from the big town to the east. And we can't let that happen. I need you to use your special talents for a demolition job. You think you can do this for me? Excellent. Here are some explosive charges. Just place them on the gate and run. Good luck. if you dare. Out. I've put together my own little time trial race. You want to give it a go? Nothing too challenging. It's just a little course that I race on. Tell you what, beat my time, friend, and I'll give you a nice little boost upgrade for your buggy. You wanna give it a shot? Good luck.
You all set? You beat my time and the boost upgrade is yours. Well, I am impressed. You are, as we say, a natural behind the wheel. And wait till you feel the boost kick in on that old buggy. Great work. You know, you being here has made this area a lot safer for me and my family. We are in your debt. So now that we can travel safely, it looks like our time together may be coming to an end. I'd like to keep you here. A guy like you is valuable in a place like this. But you're just gonna attract too much attention, and that'll bring in the authority. But there is one more thing I need you to do. Mayor Clayton runs the town of Wellspring to the east, and I've got to get a message to him. And you, you're the only one that can do it. Our supplies are getting low, and the mayor's promised help. We need to get restocked before the bandits cut us off again. Can you make the trip? I knew I could count on you. Remember, you ain't got any guns on that buggy of yours. You run across any bandits, you get away as quickly as possible and get to town. It'll be safer there. For a race, go see Jackie Weeks. He's in the back of town. You can't miss him. Just look for the big inflatable. You're new here. Stranger, huh? <laughs> yeah, you do look pretty strange.
Welcome to Wellspring, stranger. Best little town this side of what passes for civilization and a few good safe miles from any authority outposts. Nicest people you'll ever find live right here. Friendly folk. Not your wasteland bandit scum. Good honest people. Well, enough with all that. So I hear you have a message from our friend Dan. Let's have it then. Having some trouble with bandits in the settlement again. Dangerous life out there. Deadly even. Well, I can get all this stuff he needs. Gonna take some time though. Not sure how long. He must really respect you to give you this important job. So for now, I'll trust you too. You can stay here in Wellspring while I'll get his supplies, but not dressed like that. You'll bring the authority sniffing around, and I sure don't need that. So, you'll need to lose the Ark suit for something a bit more... modern. <laughs> Go see the vendor in town. Get some new clothes. Good. Glad we understand each other. When you come back, we can have another little chat. That's an interesting outfit you're wearing. Wearing something like that could attract attention. You should see if Coffin can get you something that'll make you blend in a little better. He's at the back of town. Will you look at how you're dressed? I haven't seen anyone wearing an ARC suit for a long time. Dangerous thing you're doing there. Be careful. Authority spots you and you'll be hauled away in a flash. You best keep as low a profile as you can around here. Don't let people know you're from the past. Rewards are large for turning one of you in. But lucky for you, I hate the authority more than I need money. <laughs> A man from the past walks through my door, and goes to show you that no one needs nothing around here. But let's first talk about that suit you're wearing. I can take it off your hands for a fair trade and get you something, uh, a little less, well, noticeable. Each of the suits possesses unique characteristics. It's up to you to decide what works best for you. sell all manner of goods here. Care to trade? Pleasure doing business with you. I have some of the finest goods. Day to you. That's much better. Now you look like any other good, hard-working citizen. But we got another problem. You see, you can't just leave your vehicles parked outside my town. We're civilized here. We have rules. 
And since it looks like you're gonna be here a while, you're gonna need a place to park your stuff. Go see Mick across the way in the garage. After you talk to Mick, go see Sheriff Black. He should have Dan's supplies all set by then. <laughs> you're gonna like our Sheriff. Attention all citizens. This is your mayor. As you are well aware, there has been increased reports of... Well, well, well. How did do to you? And what can Mick do for you? Oh, a garage? Well, you've come to the right place. So here's the deal. Fairest in the wasteland. You let me do all the repairs on your vehicles, and guess what? That covers the rent for the space. What a deal! And I see you got one of them shortwave radios. Mighty handy here, yeah, mighty handy indeed. So if you get into a jam and need a tow, why, just get on the radio and give me a blast. <laughs> How's that for service? That door there will get you into your garage. Or just drive up to the main gate outside and I'll let you in. Couldn't be any easier. And lastly, welcome to town. There's always some fool willing to risk his money just to take a little of yours. If you find yourself low on cash, these games are a great way to make a little extra. Let me guess, you're the stranger that Clayton says is taking some stuff to Dan's place. Now, I'm afraid it isn't gonna happen quite so easily as that. No way I'm sending all these supplies with you in an unarmed buggy. Might as well dump the damn stuff on the road. What you gotta do here is see Rusty by the track entrance. He can get you all set up with some guns. You gotta get some firepower. Then you can come back and take the supplies to Dan. 